Good morning, guys. I'm here. It is the day of the Fendace launch, and I am going to go to Versace first, and then probably Fendi. It's been crazy because everything's split up, and we'll see. We'll see what happens, but I will take you along with me while I go to Versace here in Atlanta. I'm going to Versace first. Suit. I'm probably not gonna get it. Because I just got them. And there's a huge backpack. And there's my little belt bag. Hey guys, I am back home and I have secured the bag. I got one bag from the Fendace collection and it was not what I expected. I was not expecting to get this bag when I left my home this morning. <laughs> so let me just show it to you and we'll get into it and I'll do some try-ons and everything. But I went straight to the Versace store and my plan was to go to Versace first and then go to the Fendi store. And I ended up not even going to the Fendi store. I just spent, I spent a while at the Versace <laughs> store. I tried on some stuff. I was looking at a bunch of stuff and I even like, even as I was checking out, my plans changed. So here is the box. They have this very limited edition Fendace packaging. You have the envelope with the receipt in here. And then it also comes with the kind of an authenticity care card, I guess, information little booklet. So here is the little booklet. There's a QR code there that I guess has more information. Let me show you what I got. And follow me on Instagram, by the way, and TikTok, because I have already posted reels, like vertical highlight reels of me going through the store and trying stuff on. But here it is. Ooh, but here is the, oh, you can hear it. Can you hear that? <laughs> here is the dust bag, black dust bag with the gold 
Pendace logo and print. You have these like little leather pleather ties. I got Fendace La Medusa medium handbag. Oh my gosh. You guys. So I don't, I don't have any Versace bags. I know that the Medusa tote, is this a tote La Medusa bag? comes in the mini size or maybe a small size and this is the medium which looks larger in the pictures but when you try it on it it's not too big like I would say it's comparable to maybe a little bigger than my Manhattan PM my LV Manhattan PM uh, okay here let's just look at this up close okay <laughs> so you have the Medusa head right there I love this part I love that it has the kind of a Fendi F logos on the corners here. This is $3,295. La Medusa plaque, they call it. And I love that it's a top handle and it has this gold chain. But what's interesting about this chain is it's very lightweight. I was worried that it would be very heavy. So I have the Chanel 19. And the Chanel 19 has similar chain straps and it is so, so heavy. Like it's actually heavier than the bag itself and so if you just leave it standing up it would just kind of collapse in on itself but because this is I feel like it's hollow and then not only is it hollow but it's like a like a acrylic but it's very shiny like it still looks so nice so this is detachable it has it right here detachable and then it's just a magnetic closure and when you open it up it has the leather shoulder strap with the gold hardware buckle says versace right there but here is the solid black leather flap that opens up oh i didn't even show you i'm gonna show you the outside so the outside has the same logo fendi logo on the back and then on the bottom it doesn't have feet but it has these kind of reinforced leather tabs here that kind of act as feet keeps it nice and flat and stands up you know what this reminds me of? Do you remember Henry Bendel? I loved Henry Bendel back when it still existed. This kind of reminds me of the, not the Rivington tote. One of the tote, one of their bags. It's, it's like a business type satchel type bag. And I had a couple of them and I use it for work. But oh, look how cool. Okay. Oh, this has another tag on here. Security tag right there. And it has the the price is right there so when you open it up okay see so it closes on its own very securely the inside is adjustable let me take out this so inside you have one large compartment you have a zip pocket right here the zipper pull is just the leather plain leather tab so the sides can cinch closed or you can open it up it closes with this tab that you put around this metal piece it really expands if you need it to the top handle comes through the flap this way and then it attaches underneath with these this kind of reminds me of the gucci bamboo bags and this is it with the sides opened all the way i don't know if you can close it but oh, okay oh so this is what it looks like when the sides aren't cinched in the versace sales associate was telling me that if you want to put the crossbody strap you probably would take this off but i like to leave everything on there that's just me so let's attach this when i woke up this morning i was going to go to the versace store first and just see what they had and i wasn't 100 percent planning on getting this my fendi essay had the white silk baguette and i didn't really like the white one <laughs> i have my chanel coco handle already in the iridescent blue like a like a very light blue and then i have my white birkin so I wanted a darker bag and and then also even the white silk baguette had these cherubs faces and it just I didn't like the look of it. <laughs> and so my Versace SA said, oh, they have this. And I was like, oh, my God, I really like this. And the like I was saying, the La Medusa tote, that's their signature bag. And I just it never really caught my eye initially but in this colorway with the Fendi logo I just like it so much better it's like an old-fashioned style tote almost like very feminine this is just I love this style I love the top handle I like the 
shorter shoulder strap and I like the longer crossbody strap. So here I have both of the straps attached. Now what would really make this the perfect bag is if it had a slip pocket back here. <laughs> I just feel like every bag should have a slip pocket but that's okay. So this opens up this way and it has, oh I didn't even notice, this is, I didn't even notice. Okay so you have the zip pocket back here. There's the Fendace logo also right there. And then on the front of the bag you have two slip pockets. But then you have all this room. Look at that. It's very roomy. My Fendi SA had the bum bag. Now I did a video earlier where I bought the Fendi men's bum bag and it was in the yellow vertigo print. But I ended up returning it because I thought in that color the size was very big and in that color it just was like too much for me. It was too much on my body. Someone said that it looked like a huge banana strapped to my, to my chest. So when I saw the Fendace bum bag, I was like, oh my God, that is something I, I would actually use. Great idea. But I didn't like, <laughs> I didn't really like how the Fendace like yellow Baroque pattern was on top of the Fendi logo. If you compare the two pictures, it looks like that design reminded me of Yosemite Sam, his eyebrows and nose and mustache. Let me know if you guys see a resemblance, but I ultimately passed on that. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to get the bum bag. They don't have the baguette and the shoppers, like I thought those shopper totes, the, I think they're called sunshine shopper totes. They were so cute in pretty much every color. They had the pink one. They had the Fendi one with the huge crystal or rhinestone Medusa. They were gorgeous, but I do not need another tote bag. Like I do not need another tote bag. So I had to stop myself from getting that. I wanted something that I could wear, like that I could actually wear more frequently. So then I was seriously considering the mini shopper tote. Now I had seen this before, but I never really, I was like, okay, it's too small for me. And I didn't realize that it came with a crossbody strap. So my, I FaceTimed my essay and she tried it on for me and it was so cute. She's a little taller than me. So um, I think it would have been too long for me. And then I did end up trying it anyway. And it was a lot smaller than I thought. So I'm kind of glad I passed on that. It really was it would have been more like an oversized cell phone holder. You could fit a cell phone, keys, sunglasses, tissues, chapstick, you know, like it doesn't fit much, but that was priced at 1980, which was, I guess, a pretty good price for a small crossbody that you could wear all the time. I would have gotten it in the black pattern. It came in black or pink and they're both really cute. The pink one had white leather, so I would have wanted the black one because then it would have been more carefree. But then when I saw what Versace had, <laughs> I was like, okay, I want this one. I just love it. I love it. I love the pattern. I love the hardware. I love these details here. I love the top handle. I love the multiple strap carrying options. It's just, this is, this is it. Like, this is it for me. This is it as a top handle. Look how pretty. Oh, it's so pretty in the light. It's cute. So I probably would take this out if I do wear it this way. Oh, that's really cute. And this is it as a crossbody. Isn't that cute? So this is it at the longest length. The top handle still is, you know, you have a lot of room still. I'm, I'm very short though, by the way. I'm five feet tall. I don't know if this is meant to be a crossbody. I think it might just be, really should be a shoulder strap. But for me, because I'm pretty short, I, ha I can wear it as a crossbody and it just is so cute. Oh, I really like this. I really like this style. So now I finally have a Versace bag. Isn't this so cool? Very nice. There was another shopper tote that was all black and it had the Fendace. Like it literally just looked like this as a tote bag. And it was so, so big. I think that really was just meant to be a travel. It's almost like, it really was like a luggage piece. It was so big on me. They had another men's bag that was like another belt bag. And it was in all black leather. And it had the Fendace in like a gold imprint on top of the leather. And it was square and it had like a zipper around. And that was actually very, very cute. That fit my phone. And it had credit card slots inside. That one retailed for $11.50 and I actually really liked it. That's something I could see myself wearing all the time. I'm not a huge, huge fan of just the Fendace 
written like that, like so bold. I wanted more, I don't know, more artistry on the on the bag. <laughs> so so I passed on it. They didn't have any jewelry in store. So I might order this. This is the Fendace cuff bracelet. And I just really like that it has the, it looks kind of like the F Fendi Zuka print, but then it has the Medusa little logo Medusa head interspersed throughout it. So I might get that. This is $6.25 and it's still available. If you go to the website, there are several things that are still available. So I'm actually surprised. I thought everything would be sold out, but you know, there were some things that were a lot more popular than others, but I am so glad that I got this. I really like it. My first Versace Fendace bag, the La Medusa tote from the Fendace collection. So let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know what you think about the entire Fendace collection. It's still available. I'll try to get this video up as soon as I can, but the website is still up. Follow me on Instagram because I will always post my sales associates. I have SAs in, in several different stores and different stores were allocated different items. So for example, Saks and Neiman Marcus didn't get the same things that Fendi got and they didn't get the same things that Versace got. And then on top of that, there were some pop-ups that specifically only had like Fendace collection stuff. Kind of a chaotic morning. I thought that I would be getting something else and I ended up getting this and I'm very happy about it. I'm very excited to start using this and I can definitely do a full review, but look how cool. I love that the sides can cinch in because it looks like a totally different bag. So when you have the sides open like this, it just looks so different from when you can. And then here, if you stick this in here, it looks totally different. So it looks a lot smaller when you do it this way or you can have it a lot wider. If I end up getting anything else from the collection, I will definitely post updates, but I am very excited about my new Medusa tote bag. So I hope you enjoyed my mini shopping vlog and unboxing of the Fendace collection. Let me know if you are going to pick anything up or if you have already, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.